20 seconds in Thailand. That this is the way I get to wake up. In Phuket. Guess that's why they call it the rainy season. My golden morning paradise has turned into a muddy river. Although the tree is growing very nicely. 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. Today I learned this. Mm. Yes, the vlog, the second vlog of Kopi P is coming up. I just wanted to throw this in there as a little uh, simple something I figured out. Something Thailand Rob didn't know, but now I know. And one day I learned this. I had a conversation last night with um with a friend of mine, and she is Thai, and she is very well established. We were having conversations because she said that she would go on YouTube and she would watch me and other vloggers, and she says she was extremely disappointed when she started watching some videos on Thailand and she said in particular she said this one was walking down the street and she said that every that his comments was that as he was walking down the street every two foot there was a prostitute and her comment was you're in the red light district you're walking down a road that's where prostitutes hang out. So her thoughts were, why are you making Thailand look like if you walk down the road, every two feet there's a prostitute? Yeah, it was just sad. In other videos, I've seen people talk about falling in love with the first girl they meet. And unfortunately, usually it might be a bar girl. They go to a bar and a girl and they fall in love and because she talks and she's saying, oh, you're great. And he's like, oh, you're great too. And it's like, oh, you're great. And, and we're great. Oh, it's Love. In America, we have, uh, for lack of a better word, we call them strip clubs. Uh, you go to the club where there's strippers. They take the yeah, strippers. I'm confused because if, in America, the same thing I would tell everybody is before you ever come to Thailand, go to a strip club or a dance club where the girls dance for a living. Go there. Spend a week there. See how many girls fall in love with you there when you're paying them and see what happens when you leave. It's the same. I don't understand why people come to Thailand and expect the girls to be different here just because a girl talked to them at the bar while they were buying her drinks and hanging out with her that she was the one. Uh, someone had asked me, excuse me, someone had asked me about the birthday parties here. The balloon parties or just birthday parties in general. They said that what they heard was you like the jungle back there? Squirrel! They said that when someone has a birthday here that they pay for all of the food. I asked uh, I asked my friend Nisha about it. Nisha says, no, no, no. She says, if you go to a, a establishment, a bar, a restaurant, a coffee shop, whatever, if they're having a balloon party and it's someone's birthday, they'll put balloons out. The owner of the business and people can contribute, but the owner of the business pays for the food. So the cop. But um, but if you go to someone's home, yes, that is correct. So if someone's having a birthday party at the house, then of course they paid for the food, and then people come from the town or the village, and they celebrate, and they will know. They will know if the people have money or if they do not have money, and if they do not have money where they do not have a lot of uh, supplies, uh, if they do not have a lot of supplies, they'll, they will bring gifts of supplies and money and food or whatnot. So I got that clarification last night. Mm. Oh man, falling in, love with a <clears throat> falling in love with a Thai girl and having to give her parents money. Okay, um, this is all I know about this because I don't know a lot about Thailand and everyone should know if you're new to my channel I don't know much about Thailand I'm learning every day but I had a long conversation last night about the whole when you get married do you give the parents money this is a culture thing that will take longer than 
this video to explain. But what I can tell you right now is, I'll give you an example. If a daughter leaves the home and she comes to the town and she gets a job and she's working and she makes money, when she goes back home to her parents, she is ex expected to bring money with her and buy supplies, food, uh, whatever. She is to give back to the parents. The parents, the parents begot her, so now when she comes home, she is to take care of the parents. Whether she's with a man or not, it, that's the culture. I know, I know someone right now, her mom, her mom broke her leg, and she's gonna go home and see her mom. What she's worried about is she doesn't have enough money to go back home right now, because if she goes back home to visit her mom without any money, they're gonna wonder why she came back, or you should go back and work more and then come back and bring money. And it's not a bad thing, it's just a culture. It's just a culture. So when guys say that, oh, when you get married, you have to pay for the wife, you have to give money to the family. Yes, it's just the culture. So I don't understand it 100%. So in the comments, you can clarify if you know more than I do, because honestly, I'm just learning about this. But I didn't like to hear that a bunch of guys just think, oh no, well, I'm not gonna pay for her. Uh, I'm not going to pay some uh, Thai woman's family just because I like her. Uh, it's the culture here. The culture is you pay it backwards. You don't pay it forward. You pay it backwards. The kids grow up. They make money. There is no social security in Thailand like in the U.S. Like in the U.S. you can work and you get a check from social security. Well, over here, I think it's like 500 baht a month that they get from the government. I don't know if that's true or not, so don't quote me on it because I'm just learning. So you you pay it backwards. You pay it back to your parents. You go back and you take care of your parents. And again, I'm not a person that should be giving anybody advice. I'm just, as I learn, I just want to share it with people because, like I said, I don't know anything over here. And every time someone tells me something, I'm just amazed. The other assumption that uh, we were talking about was... Fadangs will come over here, foreigners will come over here and think that every girl is a bar girl. That's a huge mistake. Uh, I, I would think that every, I would think that people would know that you have bar girls and then you have non-bar girls. And if you treat a non-bar girl like a bar girl, you're gonna get a, a fast wake up call. Now that it is the rainy season, this is one of the coolest things that I found. I would go to the, the White Sun Bar and sit and have a beer and watch this little restaurant across the street go every night with no customers or maybe two, three customers. So slow. I felt bad. I asked the, everybody, I'm like, how do they survive? Now, this was back in February, February, September, September last year, October last year, February this year. I would walk and I'd see that no customers, none, mm -hmm. maybe one or two, while the restaurant on the opposite side of the road was slammed. So I watched this night after night and I said, how, how can they survive? How can they survive? Ah, 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 ah. Mm. Now that I live here, it's the rainy season, if, you, if I didn't mention that already. The Busy Busy restaurant closed for season. I'm not, oh, and by the way, I'm not talking about Cindy's restaurant. This is a whole different restaurant because Cindy closed for uh, season as well. The Busy restaurant is now closed for the season. So what happened is, even though we're in low season, everyone that is traveling here and in Camelot, at that restaurant every night, it is slam packed. So it is so cool that this little restaurant basically can survive for low season business. So they're gonna be slammed for three months. And then I'll let you know after three months if it goes back to being uh, quiet again. But it, it was really cool. It's like the seasons here. Thailand's dry for, for nine months of the year and then it just rains. 
Can you take this asshole back to America again, please? Not good, 